are so pretty, I first set my eyes on sweet Molly Malone. As she wheels her wheelbarrow through the streets far and narrow, crying cockles and mussels, alive, alive, oh, alive, alive, oh, oh. alive, alive, oh, oh. crying cockles and mussels, alive, alive, oh. She was a fishmonger, and it sure was no wonder, for so were her father and mother. Molly Malone is a famous character from the well-known Dublin folk song. However, she was a social outcast looked down on by society. What has God got to offer to those who are on the fringe of society today? We really see what God is like in the life of Jesus. And Jesus specialized in reaching out to social outcasts. There were demoniacs possessed with demons on the fringes of society. Jesus reached out to them. There was a man sick by the pool of Bethesda. Everybody else passed him by. He sat on the sidelines. Jesus reached out to him. There was a prostitute, woman of ill repute, had been with many men. Jesus reached out to her. And the reason Jesus did that is because he saw worth, he saw value. He didn't see people like they were, but he saw them what they could become. Christ specializes in reaching social outcasts. So when you and I feel marginalized, when we feel that nobody cares, when we feel kind of lonely and alone and crushed and rejected by society, Jesus shows us that we have value, that we have worth, and he reaches out to embrace us too. Okay, and what would you say to the person who feels that they've done too much wrong, that they can't, they've gone past the point of forgiveness, that God couldn't love them because of all the things they did done? We've all made mistakes. We've all failed at times. We all have had that sense of guilt. And that's what Christ specializes in. He specializes in grace. He specializes in forgiveness. He specializes in mercy. He indeed is the God of new starts. And is, are Christians not just you know, a bunch of people who go to church and they follow all these rules and they make no mistakes? Where do people who have made all these mistakes fit into church today? Sick people go to hospitals. And uh, you know, what, you, what if you were sick and you'd say, you know, I, I'm sick, I can't go to the hospital. So church is not some palace for saints. Church is a place where we come. It's a community. It's a group of people where we come and care for one another, embrace one another, where it becomes a place of safety, a place of refuge. It becomes a place where we support one another. So I think we have to redefine church. Church for some is traditional, formal, stained glass windows, candle. You know, church is it's a building. Really, church is a group of people who are committed to Christ and his love and grace and forgiveness and committed to supporting one another.